Yeah. Right back at it. YouTube, 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 YouTube. Yo, we skipping the intro. We going straight into it this time around. Today, we talking about budget firearms. Now, listen, before I get started, I know there's a lot of people that talk about this concept. But yeah, yo, the one thing about YouTube, what I realized, yo, there's a hundred, there's thousands of people on this joint that talk about the same thing. But it's all about how you express yourself when you talk about it. So it's different. So with that being said, yo, we talking about budget firearms, new firearm owners or new um, soon to be owners. We talking about budget firearms. Now, if you follow my channel, you know. The show clip. Clip. If you follow my channel, you already know how I, I feel about budget. And we gonna put that word to rest in this video because what really is a budget firearm? Can anybody give me some answers? Why? What, what, what's a budget firearm? Yo, listen, man. If you get a firearm and it works flawlessly, no jams, no stove pipes, no nothing, um, I don't consider that firearm budget. You feel me? Once a firearm works like how it's supposed to, Um, I don't think it's budget. You know what I'm saying? Now they say, oh, it's the parts inside. They got to cheat somewhere and blah, 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 blah. But the reality is, bro, you're not in the streets. You don't have drama. You don't have ops. So the chances of you banging that at somebody is gonna be slim. It's just to protect yourself if danger comes and protect your family. So I say that to say is, you're not gonna be using your firearm like that unless you go into the range to train, 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 train. Why am I making this video? This firearm right here, man, this firearm gets talked about so much so bad but in my using this firearm this thing has been dependable sturdy reliable you know what i'm saying i got the taro i got the taro so we're gonna slap an optic on it um solly solly um i'll let your boy but anyway i got the taro version you know what i'm saying this is a very dependable gun for the low. You know what I'm saying? And why am I making this video? Yo, you don't have to blow the bag. You don't got to blow the bag to keep up with these other dweebs on here. Because a lot of y'all is dweebs, you know what I'm saying? Not the guys, but a lot of y'all is dweebs. Y'all be putting out misinformation, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to pump it out there because you spent wild bread for your firearm. So now you want to pump it out there like everybody needs to be paying this price. No, you're just a dweeb. You know what I'm saying? you That's that buyer's remorse. Nobody told you to go out there and pay eight bills for a 19. Now you thinking that's the standard. That's the standard of the price. Who be setting the price of these things anyway? Like, yo, some of y'all, like I say, got to knock it off. You feel me? And let me say this, too, because even though, like I said, once again, if you follow my channel, I just don't I just don't rock with this. You know, I got the big two six. Ooh you know, I got that. You know what I'm saying? That's a Glock. You feel me? So it's not like I'm just saying, yo, just stick to the budget firearms. No, 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 no. You stick to what works for you. You feel me? Whatever works for you, that's what you stick with. And not for nothing, dumb two hammers work well for me. They work well for me. So I'm just saying this to new gun owners. Listen, don't get caught in the hype. 
that you got to go out there and buy the most expensive firearm to feel good or whatever. Because at the end of the day, it don't matter what firearm you purchase, you still got to train with it. I see a lot of people, y'all be thinking the firearm is going to work for you. The firearm is going to do most of the job. It don't work like that. Whatever firearm that you purchase, you got to practice and become efficient with it. There's no way around it. You can have the dopest firearm and still can't hit nothing. You feel me? Any firearm that you pick up, you got to practice, practice, practice. So that's just basically it. So when you hear people talking about budget firearms, oh, that's not good, um, blah, 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 blah. Run flawless. Run flawless. I don't get no jams. I run hollows through this. Any kind of hollows. Before, it used to just take um, Hornady. Before, this just used to take Hornady, critical defense. But as the more I broken in, broken in, broken in, now it takes whatever hollows. Now it takes whatever hollows. It don't matter. Now it's just like, feed me, feed me. Feed me, feed me. I need to eat. I need to eat. Somebody scalot my gone if you let me go. You feel me? That's how this that's how this is performing now. So when I was a new gun owner, I almost got caught up into the hype too and started saying, yo, I gotta go out there and I got I need this, I need that, I need this, I need but the more and the longer as time go, and you're going to see it too, as time go, you start catching yourself like, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> do I really need to do that? Hold on. Matter of fact, let me just get some ammo and just practice with this. You know what I'm saying? That's how I really go. But I'm just here to make this video to give y'all a little heads up, man. Don't get caught in the hype, man. Don't get caught in the hype of budget and expensive because me personally, just like with my AR, they calling it budget, but I got to I, I call it, I got to steal. I got to steal. This budget AR that y'all said was going to break this, do all of that, whatever, it's still performing like a champ, guys. Still performing like a champ. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Your boy got to steal. Your boy got to steal. And y'all who be paying two bands, three bands, four bands for y'all ARs, something always going wrong with it. Why is why is that? It's four bands and your shit always got problems? Why is that? You think it's something that you doing? I don't even care. I, I just know I ain't even paid what you paid and my shit is running sturdy, 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 sturdy. So I say this to say, you can't listen to everybody because people who talking, no disrespect, they don't know what they talking about. You feel me? If I listened to some of y'all in these comments, y'all would have wanted me to go buy a Daniel Defense. You know what I'm saying? Daniel Defense. You know what I'm saying? Uh, nothing wrong with Daniel Defense, but yeah, I don't. Yeah. But anyway, like I said, new gun owners, man. Just do your history. Do your research, and you should be all right, man. Don't get caught up in no budget, that budget talk, you know what I'm saying? The only budget firearm that I know for a fact that's trash, and this is for a fact, and you know me, I don't bash. Man, if that shit is trash, I'm going to bash it. I don't care. The skies, even though I never shot it, I've never shot no skies, but the videos that I've seen with, 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 with those, horrible, but... Let me bring that back because, like I said, I never touched it, so I can't really, I never touched it, I never shot it, so I can't say that it's trash, but a lot of people say it's trash, but what what, what this video is about, stop, you can't listen to people, you can't listen to people, you just got to go with what you could afford, but anyway, man, like I told y'all, it's your boy, Steve So BK Fly, Mr. Big DFA in the spot, Shh. don't make it hot, you heard, Put, bam!